All right, so today I want to talk about quite possibly one of the most important parts about any synthesizer, and that is the envelope. So I have my trusty Roland JU06A right here, uh, the Juno. Of course, this is one of the more recent Junos that they came out with, not one of the vintage ones. So this will apply, however, to pretty much any synth. Because most synths, I mean, most of them have ADSR envelopes. That stands for Attack, Decay, Sustain, and Release. Some only have an Attack, Decay envelope. Some only have an ASR, Attack, Sustain, Release. But, um, you know, what you learn here today will apply to any of those, any envelope. So... Also, I want to clarify that there are envelopes for filters and envelopes for amplitude or volume. So this applies to the amplitude envelope, which basically controls how expressive your synth can be. So let's try a couple things out here. So let's start with everything down. What do we get? We get nothing. So, we'll start by turning up the decay. And now you'll actually get sound. Another couple things I want to make clear on here. Um, on this particular synth, you have uh, an envelope setting over here in relation to the filter. Now you want to make sure that your envelope is, at least in this case, is this switch is pushed to the top here. This is the polarity of the envelope, which essentially just means the direction. So in this case, I mean, in pretty much any case, you'll want your envelope to be forward, to be going forward. Otherwise, if you have it on this one, that's reverse, which will completely change the nature of your envelope. So I'm not going to go over that today. So you want to make sure that your envelope is going forward. So, so with our decay, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the delay in the chorus as well. So essentially what we have here, the attack is all the way down and the decay is all the way up. So, Basically, the, you could look at this in order of the volume. So with the attack all the way down, that means that it's going to reach full volume as soon as you press the key. I guess I shouldn't say full volume because in reality, the volume that it goes up to is actually where the decay is. So if we press, if we press a note and mess with the decay, You'll notice that in this case, with these, with all these down except the decay, the decay actually kind of controls the volume right now. So the attack controls how long it takes to get up to the decay volume. So if we turn the attack up a little bit, say halfway, you'll notice that it's more of a fade in. So a good way to look at the attack is actually as a fade. So the higher you turn up the attack, the longer it's gonna take to get up to the decay volume. So if we turn it up all the way, you notice how long it takes to get up to volume. So in terms of musicality, attack is a good way to control, um, you know, if you want like an ambient sound or something like that, especially if you throw in some delay. Maybe mess with the filter a little bit.
So that's how you get your kind of more ambient sounds. So for the most part, you'll want your attack to be down. So that way when you're playing, it responds to, you know, your, your presses like immediately, essentially. You know, I mean, you could have it up a little bit. You know, but the more, if you're playing a lot of really quick notes, you want your attack to pretty much be all the way down. Because, because in that way you'll be able to hear, you know, it'll actually play the notes that you're playing at the speed that you're playing it. So, sustain. That's when things get a little more interesting. So, when you have your sustain down, the reason this is called decay is because it actually the note will eventually decay when there's no sustain. So let's turn the decay down a little bit and see what happens when you hold the note. Let's turn it down even more. You'll notice that the volume of the note actually goes down even though you're still pressing the key. So without any sustain, the note will just decay based on where you have the decay setting. If you have it up all the way, it'll last for a long time, but you notice that eventually it will decay. It will get quieter and go to no volume. However, in this case, the decay is really long <laughs> when you have it turned up all the way. So, if you want the note to sustain while you're holding the key, then turn up the sustain. Well, let's try it uh, down here. So you notice that when your sustain is all the way up, it's basically gonna sustain indefinitely you know, depending on the synth, of course. But, uh, so say you turn the decay all the way up and the sustain like only halfway. Well, let's turn the decay down just a hair because it's so long. So this is an inter interesting case right here. The sustain is about halfway. The decay is not quite all the way up. So what is happening here is the attack is at zero, so it goes up immediately to the decay volume. And then once the volume is here, it starts to decay down to where the, sus the sustain is. So the sustain is another way you can look at that again as kind of a volume thing. So say you have your sustain way down here then the volume will come up to the decay and then it'll decay down to where the sustain is and then it will stay at that volume indefinitely until you take your hands off the keys. So listen for that. So in that first case, our sustain wasn't up high enough that it actually kept sustaining at a low volume. It still disappeared. But when, if you have the sustain a little bit higher, you notice that second time that it's still wrung out until I let my hand off the keys. So that's the sustain. So I'm sure as you can see so far, you know, what kind of sound, like what genre you're playing, what kind of sound you're going for, greatly depends on how you have your envelopes set. So the final one is the release. So let's keep the decay all the way up. Let's keep the sustain. Uh, let's just keep it 
let's turn it off for now. And then uh, the release. So let's put that about halfway. So you know what it sounds like without the release. So here's what it sounds like with the release. So you notice when you have release, it kind of acts as a fade out. It's the complete opposite of the attack. The release, it's called release because as soon as you release the keys, how quickly do you want it to fade back down to zero, back down to no volume? So when you have your release set halfway, you can take your hand off the keys still have volume. So what happens if we turn the sustain all the way up? You still get that fade out because of the release. Again, keep in mind the sustain only has to do with sustaining, which in this case, well, in, in any case is how long you have your, if you still have your hands on the keys or not. So say we put the sustain back down to half, listen to what happens. Oh, we got to turn the decay down a little bit because it's so long. So what happened there, the attacks all the way down. So the volume instantly went up to where the decay is and then once it hit that, it started to decay downwards to where the sustain is. And then once I let my hands off of the keys, then the release kicked in and it faded out gradually because we have the release set to half. So what happens if you set the release all the way up? So as you can hear, it does indeed fade out, but when you have your decay and your release all the way up, it, it takes a really long time to decay or to release. So, you know, maybe if you want, if you want to just not have to hold your hands on there, you know, maybe you'll want your release, you know, a little higher if you want it to fade out gradually. So what happens if we turn up the attack a little bit? So right there you have a pretty cool kind of more ambient sound. You know, if you mess with the filter a little bit, add some delay, maybe some chorus. And there you have it. That's your envelope. So again, this applies to pretty much any synth. Some of them have knobs, but, uh, you know, the knob is essentially the exact same as the slider. You know, if, if you want your attack all the way down, your knob will be all the way to the left. And then if you want your attack all the way up, knob will be all to the right. So, so hope that helps you guys. Um, you know, again, you don't have to have this uh, partic particular Juno just to be able to, uh, you know, use what you learned here today. So try it on some other synths and see what kind of sounds you can come up with. 
and uh, leave any questions down below if you have any questions or requests for any new videos. And I will see you guys in the next video.